Hey, what's up guys? My name is Trevor Wobb and I'm from Nerd Trio TV. And today I'm going to be showing you how to do a muzzle flash um, in Adobe After Effects CS5. And this is a clip that we we shot from our latest uh, short short in, on our channel, uh, Stealth Mission. And we're going to be applying a gunshot and the smoke effects and the whole, the whole nine yards to this one. Alright, so first, uh, we got a muzzle flare here from uh, Corridor Digital. I'll give you the link in the description to get this muzzle flare. Uh, they give it in one of their tutorial videos. And we're, what we're first going to do is find out where the actor or actress kicks back the gun for the gunshot. And for us, it's about right here, so do it one frame before. So we're going to put the gunshot right there and make sure you have mode up on your uh, After, Effects After Effects timeline. To do that, you can just toggle switches and modes and put the mode of the muzzle flare to screen. And as you can see right here, well, first you need to like size it right and all that. And you can see that there's the outlines of the picture right here. So what do I do to fix that is I just draw a mask around the outline of the box where nothing is anyway and like that and then after that go to mask and feather the mask until it basically blends in to your liking and that's basically that for a muzzle flare oh and actually uh, oops most of the time I don't like to keep the original color of this muzzle flare I like to I like it more of like a white flash of light rather than uh, a yellow tint. So for that, you go to Effect, Color Correction, Tint, and that basically gets it all white. And then you basically just just uh, add the amount of tint of white to it until you get it to your liking. We go about 40% most of the time. That looks, that looks about right. And also. Uh, I'm going to lower the opacity a little bit inside here. So that looks about right. And also, you always want your muzzle flash to be one frame. Never two frames. If you get the Action Essentials pack from VideoCopilot.com, all of the muzzle flashes are two to three frames, but you don't want that. You always want one frame for a gunshot. And this is what it looks like just with the muzzle flare, nothing else. We're going to be adding other stuff. Alright, so now it's time to put some smoke inside here. I also got this from uh, Corridor Digital. And I'll give you the link, to, uh, the link for that as well. And I want my smoke to start up after it, probably about right there. And then when you get here, you want to change the mode of the smoke to a screen. And make sure the direction of your smoke is going in the right way. Rotate it or do whatever you need to do in order to get going the right way. And maybe for this one, even make it a little bigger. And for right here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to... Uh, have the smoke start out full intensity right here and over the course of uh, until the next shot right here I'm gonna have it almost fade all the way out to about 30 and then on the next shot right here I'm gonna have it zero so now when you play it back looks decent uh, 
just fool around a little bit, really. Should be fine. And, uh, next we're gonna, I, I like to add a firecracker, uh, from the Action Essentials package. Uh, I'll give you the link to that in the description. Action Essentials, it's good. It costs money, but it's really good if you're into making action films. It, it'll be worth it for sure. And, uh, it does cost a little bit of money, but in the end, if you're making action films, it's completely worth it. I think it cost about $150 or something like that. But, uh, yeah, it's worth it for sure. And for this uh, spark, you're going to want to color correct it to uh, the actual color of the muzzle flash. Try to make it basically blend in with your muzzle flash. Because you're not going to be seeing the. You're not going to really be seeing it that much anyway. that looks about right and when you do that you want to put it under your gunshot and maybe even lower the opacity a little bit position it correctly Right, that looks about right. And uh, now, <coughs> sorry, I'm a little sick. That's one of the main reasons why we haven't come up with a video this week. Uh, I'm gonna add a, a bullet shell coming out of the side of the gun. And this is also included in the Action Essentials package. This comes with it. It's a bullet shell. And size it down to about, to about the size it would be if it was coming out of the gun. Probably around right there. And I have a starting point where you want it to come out from the gun. I'm going to have mine started about right there. And I'm going to put it one frame after the muzzle flare. And you're gonna to want to keyframe the position of the of the bullet and have have it go about three frames and then drag it off and kind of have it like an arch so you're not like defying geometry or anything like that. And now what you want to do is since you have that the bullet coming out of this side is uh, apply a motion blur to it so what you do for that is you go to toggle switches and this one right here is a motion blur so you're gonna put that there and enable motion blur on the composition and what that does so it'll be more of like a right here it's it's like a blur of the bullet coming out of the side of the gun so this is what we have It's looking pretty decent so far. And uh, now we have one more step to do. <coughs> it is, uh, if there was this big of a muzzle flash on a gun, it would cast a light onto the actual person. So what we're going to do is we're going to apply a mask to everywhere that would be affected by the light of the gun. So we're going to draw a mask. Or, oh, actually first. You're, you're going to duplicate the base layer, and you're going to go and draw a mask around the top layer. The 
basically for this one his whole front side of the body would be affected by the gunshot and it would ca the muzzle flash would cast a light shadow around his whole upper body and now we go back to toggle switches and you set the mode to the top layer to add and this looks crappy right now but once we mess with it it will look a lot better and so what we're, we want to do is start the start going like this right before or I mean right when the muzzle flare happens and you want to feather the mask so you don't see any sudden edges it's just the light and um, you want to lower the opacity on the on the light so basically around maybe around right there we go we usually go around 30 to 40 on the opacity of the of the lighting up so uh, we'll start right there and we'll have it last two frames and then have it fade out Yeah, that's a. Uh, <coughs> if you go through it frame by frame, first, you have the muzzle flare, you have the sparks coming behind the muzzle flare, you have the smoke coming out of the gun, and you have the light casting on, on his body that's coming from the muzzle flare, and you have the muzzle flare die down after the smoke. I mean, after the, the flare is gone, and you have the smoke going away because we lowered the transparency of it I mean the opacity of it as it's going to the next shot plus we have a a bullet coming out of the side of the gun you can see it oh, right here with the motion blur on and um, that's basically how you do uh, a muzzle flare that looks pretty decent uh, we think our muzzle flares look pretty decent we've learned from Freddy W and Quarter Digital with their tutorials and we think they essentially look basically the same and uh, I'll give you links to where to get these uh, these effects that I'm using inside After Effects I'll give you the tutorial for the for this the muzzle flare and I'll give you the uh, the, the link for video copilot's uh, action essentials and the video with this smoke from corridor digital and uh, that's basically it if you have any questions comment below or inbox us and uh, uh, if you want to have if you want to see a tutorial on anything else that we do um, uh, we will just inbox us and we'll try to get a tutorial out there as soon as possible and at the end of this video I will I will give a uh, link to the full video of this of this movie stealth mission alright I think that's about it uh, thanks for watching uh, thumbs up comment and subscribe alright thanks